welcome to avr teachings here it is the control system syllabus from which i am going to discuss important topics or questions let me start in unit 1 explain open loop control system and closed loop control system with example if you read this topic you should able to write any question regarding open loop control system and closed loop control system such as differences between open loop control system and closed loop control system and here second long question is determine the transfer function of mechanical translational and mechanical rotational systems and here uh, there is a chance to ask short question from this topic uh, what is what are the basic elements of mechanical translation system or basic elements of mechanical rotational system theory question you will get from this and third one is determine the transfer function of electrical system so in examination uh, you may get uh, electrical network with rlc components for that network you should find the transfer function it is also long answer next block diagram reduction rules there are 11 rules so this rules you will get for long answer any two rules you may get for short answer also a fifth one is determine the transfer function from block diagram reduction technique this is a very very important question compulsory question you should practice more on this topic if you know the 11 rules you can able to do this problem on block diagram reduction for you need to determine the time response of first order si system with step input unit step input and same first order system with ramp input also important most of the time step input uh, you will get a third question is determine the time response of second order system for zeta is 0 zeta equal to 1 and 0 less than zeta less than 1 fourth one is time domain specifications so there are five time domain specifications delay time rise time peak time peak overshoot and settling time you should remember the definitions of all these five time domain specifications as well as formulas also so for long answers you will get problem on this specifications using those formulas two marks question or short question you will get definition from this time domain specifications next a uh, steady state error and static error constants uh, you will get definitions for short answers and problems for long answers you should remember the formula of steady state error and uh, static error constant there are three static error constants proportional error constant velocity error constant acceleration error constant for three for this three static error constant you have a three formulas you should remember these three formulas and sixth one very very important ruth hervis stability criteria r h criteria problems and uh, there is a short answer from this topic that is uh, rh criteria statement and rh criteria limitations and very very important is root locus for root locus there are 11 rules from this 11 rules any one rule you may get for short answer if you get all rules that means that is a long question and problem if you know all the rules then you can able to do the problems on root locus in unit 3 there are only three topics bode plot polar plot and nyquist plot all are long questions only they last problems only the must and should 
problem in examination is bode plot so they they will ask like this find the determine the gain margin phase margin of a given transfer function using bode plot first you need to uh, do the problem and you should draw the bode plot on semi log sheet similarly you may get same question determine the gain margin phase margin gain cross over frequency phase cross over frequency using polar plot so you should draw this on polar graph sheet if examiner specif specifically ask draw on normal graph sheet you should use normal graph sheet otherwise you should use polar graph sheet and the fourth one is determine the stability of control system using nyquist plot this is the this is also a long answer problem and coming to the third question third topic statement of nyquist stability criteria in nyquist counter so this question you will get for short answer in unit 4 explain the compensation techniques here uh you will get short answers from this topic such as sketch the pole pole zero plot of lag network pole zero plot of lead network uh sketch the electrical network of lag compensator sketch the electric network of lead compensator or uh, simply they will ask for short answer as Uh, write down the transfer function of lag compensator write down the transfer function of lead compensator if you combine all these topics it becomes the long question explain the compensation techniques right so second one is design procedure for lag and lead compensators using bode plot there are 8 to 9 rules in each uh, procedure and that means you have a procedure for lag lag compensator and procedure for lead compensator i combinedly written in the second question only third one is design problems using bode plot and design lag compensator using bode plot design lead compensator using bode plot here also i included two questions in third question okay and in second you have a two topics in third you have a two topics out of four one you will get compulsory in examination you may get two also okay uh, here in unit 4 the second and third questions are must and read questions and fourth one is frequency domain specifications you should remember the definitions of frequency domain specifications such as resonant peak resonant frequency cut off rate bandwidth phase margin gain margin out of this gain margin and phase margin definitions are very 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 important and uh, based on this specification formulas you may get problems and fifth question is explain controllers with applications in your syllabus uh, you have only three controllers proportional controller integral controller and derivative controller just read out as a theory question for short answer coming to the unit 5 the first important thing is definitions what is state state variable state vector state model and state diagram previously all this combinedly asked for long question also so that is very important in second one is conversion of state model to canonical state model so you will get a problem from this topic and this is a very big problem in this you need to find out the eigen values eigen vectors uh, matrix inverse right uh, third question diagonalization definition and problem definition you will get for two marks problem for long answer so if you able to do the second question canonical state model you can it is easy to do the problem and diagonalization fourth question is state transition matrix very very important state transmission sorry uh, state transition matrix properties very important 
problems also very important so uh, this fourth question the fourth the state transition matrix topic is you may get for long answer as well as short answer fifth question very 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 important controllability observability definitions and problem compulsory one is in your examination either definition or problem problem will come for the long question and they will ask two for, uh, just like test controllability and observability of given state model long question and definitions for short answers short question sixth one is solution of state equations derivation and problems uh, there are two solutions homogeneous state equation solution non homogeneous state equation solutions so in examination they last long question for uh, state uh, solution of state equation for non homogeneous equation you may get and problems also you will get uh, the sixth uh, question or topic is for long answer only seventh one determine the state model from transfer function or differential equation and vice versa so they will give a differential equation or transfer function asked to convert into the state model that is the one type long question or else they will give state model that means state equation and output equation they will provide they ask to find out the transfer function or differential equation reverse process so in 15 it almost all topics are very important and repeated questions only so in the entire ppt i marked with red color topics they are very very important you should read and go to the examination hall okay and coming for uh, here fifth unit you should use calculator to reduce your time in examination hall to save your time in examination hall you should use calculator here you have a matrix multiplication matrix addition inverse of the matrix okay you may get for 3 by 3 matrix or 2 by 2 matrix okay for this you should practice in calculator at your home how to do this inverse of the matrix matrix multiplication everything you practice at your home in the calculator and you apply these things in your examination hall to save your time so for a control system subject you must carry your own calculator okay thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thank you